I have five sling bags from three companies, but only one of them is the best. But let's find out if one of these four is better for you. Just as a disclaimer, I did buy three of these bags and then I was given the Wotan Craft for a previous dedicated review and the Nomadic 8 liter sling was a gift. However, none of these brands are sponsoring this video. This video is brought to you by my nursing paycheck because you can always count on a Filipino nurse. Since the start of my photo video journey, I went from small camera bags to big camera bags or even cases at times. My gear acquisition syndrome and fear of missing out led me into a quest of some of the biggest bags I no longer love. As an aspiring full-time content creator, I don't need a lot of heavy gear in a big old bag, nor the aches and pains of carrying them. So without entirely downsizing my gear, I was looking for a quality bag to carry all my stuff that I actually use for everyday productivity and creative work, especially when I go for impromptu photo or video shoots. And here are the best sling bags that I've used. The Wu-Tang Crafts Pilot 7 Sling, Nomadic's 8 liter sling, 9 liter sling, 12 liter sling, last but not least, Moments 10 liter sling. Now, as straightforward as it seems, the smallest of these bags, the 7 liter Wotan Craft, actually feels just as spacious as the 10 and 12 liter slings in this lineup. And you'll see why later on as we pack these bags. But for now, what kind of material are we working with in these bags? All these bags are made with YKK zippers, quality that stays on your bag and doesn't easily fall apart or detach. But what's the material that's covering your precious gear? On the outer shell, the Wotan Craft 7 liter is covered in a wax canvas composed of some Teflon that acts as a water repellent. The Nomadic 8 liter is made of 80% nylon and 20% polyethylene, whereas the 9 liter and 12 liter Nomadic Luma bags are made of 900D polyox and nylon webbing on the exterior. The Luma bags are not advertised for any water resistance like the Nomadic 8 liter sling. Then the Moment 10 liter has what they call a waterproof NPX body material. So if you want water resistance, avoid the Luma bags. But for now, each bag is comfortable to carry. Each of them have a cushion strap except for the Nomadic Luma 9 liter. Of those slings that have the cushions, the thinnest happens to be the Nomadic Luma 12 liter and the Moment 10 liter. While the ones with extra cushion seem to be the Nomadic 8 liter and the Wotan Craft 7 liter. Nomadic's 8 liter sling and the Moment bag have extra points as they have fitting straps for the back, which are good for a crossbody support. Whereas the other slings have a more straight strap that are more suitable for carrying on the side. Between the Nomadic 8 liter sling and the Moment 10 liter sling, the Moment 10 liter cross bag strap is built in and is magnetic. The 8 liter sling though is the opposite, having the ability to remove and instead of being magnetic is actually clipped in. Every strap here is sturdy and quality, but if you like that seatbelt material, Nomadic provides that experience. The other bags just use your traditional carrying strap kind of material. But comfort is only part of the experience. I also want to prioritize productivity and one of the ways for me to stay productive is with a tablet. We just don't have a tablet sleeve with most of these bags, at least for Nomadic. Nomadic's Luma 12 liter could definitely hold one, but you need a whole set of dividers to make your gear fit comfortably. Nomadic doesn't make a set to accommodate a tablet style of carry. I've tried to borrow dividers from the Luma 18 liter bag, but that didn't fit too well in the 12 liter. Even if I could find a long enough divider for the tablet, I don't have enough room for the original 12 liter dividers because it's too wide on the bottoms. But if you want a built-in divider for your tablet, the Moment 10 liter has one, and it can fit an 11-inch iPad. The Wotan Craft, though at 7 liters, does accommodate space for an iPad, and it has a removable tablet divider. They both fit my iPad Air comfortably, even with the Apple Pencil sticking out or being tucked in face down. Although not all these bags hold a tablet, the primary reason why I got these bags is because they can hold a camera, lens, and all the small accessories that I may need, like extra batteries and SD cards. If you want the bag that can hold the most, it's the Nomadic 12 liter sling, since it's got that extra depth. If you've got a full frame camera, you can use your camera and lens together and put that in the center, and then throw two more lenses on the sides. I'm able to throw in my Sony FX30 with the Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter, as well on the sides, having the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 for vlogging and BTS, and then a battery bank just in case for charging. And then in the top pocket, we have accessories like 
camera batteries. For Nomadic's 8 liter and 9 liter, it's pretty much the same packing experience except how you stow away the extra batteries and SD cards. The 8 liter sling has the dedicated pockets, whereas the Lumen 9 liter has a mesh pocket with a stitching somewhere in the middle. The 12 liter is also the same this way. If you value having a tablet sleeve like me, you may lean more towards the Moment 10 liter sling. When it comes to this bag, the setup is more or less the same of the others except I have my Sony FX30 with the Sigma 18-35 on the side with the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 next to it and then of course the tablet in the proper spot. Accessories mainly in the zippered pocket up top. By the way, I am a fan of the main compartment being so bright. Since most of my camera gear is black, it's just easier to see my things, especially should I pack some small loose items. Surprisingly though, for the Wotan Craft Pilot 7 liter, I'm able to pack like the Nomadic 12 liter sling despite having less space. Although my gear only feels a little snug, I can still access them with ease without feeling like I'm packing sardines in a can, nor feeling like I'm removing my gear like it's a sword in a rock. Plus, I'm able to fit a couple more small stuff in the front pouch. It too is a little snug, but it still fits more of your stuff and keeps it organized with the separate pouches. Although carrying capacity for these bags are plenty in the main compartment, but what about the other pockets around the bag? The 7 liter sling from Wotan has plenty of pockets. Not just the one that I mentioned in the front, but one in the back, and then a secret one in front of the front pocket. Plus, you have two stretchable pouches on the sides if you want to keep things in there too. I don't put a small water bottle in there, but you could do that if you really want. I usually stick my extra camera straps or dead batteries for the day. But even on the outside of the bag, if you got pouches, you can also attach them there too. When it comes to Nomadic's 8 liter sling, we have a single zippered pocket up at the top. We can fit things like a small air blower, lens wipes, lens pen, and then for SD cards and batteries, we actually have dedicated elastic pockets off to the right hand side. On the Luma 9 liter and 12 liter sling, there is a mesh pocket on the top, kept closed with a zipper and divided with stitches. For the Moment 10 liter sling, we do have a single zipper pocket with different smaller pouches within. And then in the front of the bag, we have a single zippered pocket as well for other small things like pens, business cards, and whatever loose objects you can throw in there. So what are these hype features that separate these bags one from another? For the Wotan Craft 7 liter sling, there is the accessories and modules for their bags so you can expand it and customize your bag the way that you like to carry. Unlike the other bags that use zippers to access the main compartment, this bag uses a single magnetic sliding clip. For the Nomadic 8 liter sling, when you unzip your bag, you can utilize the bungee cord locking system. This way you can change out your lenses or organize your equipment while on a shoot and still be able to keep it temporarily closed with this cord and hook. For the Luma 9 and 12 liter sling, the concept is the same, but it is executed with magnetic tabs instead. I much prefer magnets over the bungee cord. For the Moment 10 liter sling, it relies on the zippers to access the main compartment, but it separates itself more from the other bags with its own magnetic clasps for the crossbody strap and the tripod straps. Yes, Nomadic allows for attachments on their bags, but the 8 liter sling is the only one that has the anchor points on the bottom of the bag, whereas the Luma 9 and 12 liter have it on the front side. Plus these straps from Nomadic cost extra. Wotan Craft has tripod straps built in already. And actually it's the least favorite of all the bags that I use. But since I often don't carry even a travel tripod with me, I overlook this fact. Aside from this, the front of the bag has many attachment points that can accommodate the different styles of pouches, whether zipped or drawstring. By the way, all these bags have luggage pass through should you want to use this with your carry on when traveling. But as nice as these bags are, what happens if something goes wrong with them? What kind of support do you actually get? Nomadic has their lifetime guarantee on all their bags, Wotan Craft gives a 3 year warranty, and Moment offers a protection plan with a company called Extend. Their plans range from 1 to 3 years at varying prices. But what do the bags actually cost in US dollars? The Nomadic 8 liter sling costs $159. The Luma 9 liter costs $119, while the 12 liter costs $139. The Moment Sling is at a similar price at $160, and then at the highest price we have the Wotan Craft Pilot 7 liter at $179.
So what can I recommend? Any of the nomadic slings are excellent for those who would like to just carry their gear on their hip or even just use as an everyday bag. Their bags are simple yet functional. If you're someone who likes to be able to carry a whole bunch of little stuff, the Wotan Craft is an excellent choice as it has all the small packets that you need for all your small devices without having to scratch any of your other gear inside the main compartment. The 10 liter sling though is a good balance of both styles as it has a wide compartment that is comparable to the 12 liter Nomadic, but has small pockets for divisions like the Wu-Tang Craft and has the best tripod straps of all these sling bags. If I didn't know about the Wu-Tang Craft, the Moment 10 liter would still be the bag of choice. If you need a sling that you can easily access your gear out of when you're on shoots, then go for any of the Nomadic bags based on the size of your gear. But if you want a better organizational experience out of your sling, then go for the Moment 10 liter or the Wu-Tang Craft 7 liter. If this comparison wasn't enough for you, I do have dedicated reviews over here.